Most games have sound and music. Without it, games just seem unpolished. For SDL, we're going to have to install the SDL Mixer Extended Library because, from what I read, SDL's sound functions are confusing. You need to go to this site to download the Mixer files. And for step-by-step, up-to-date instructions on how to install them with your IDE, go to LazyFoo's page. With this Mixer library, you'll be able to load in WAV, AUG, MP3, MOD, AIFF, RIF, VOC, and MIDI files. MIDI files are good for long background songs because they take up such a small amount of space. AUG or MP3 are good for sound effects because they're compressed, and you won't really want to use WAV format at all because they take up a lot of space and are uncompressed. With Pick and Sticks, we can plan on having one background song and probably one sound effect for when you pick up a stick. You can add more sound files, like a sound that plays when the character walks, or you could play random noises at random intervals to confuse the player, I guess. Anyway. Because we're using SDL Mixer, we'll have to add an extra include in our files using the mixer. Use either include sdlmixer.h or sdl slash sdlmixer.h, depending on how you have it set up in the IDEs directory. Now in the initialization function, we'll have to include the mix open audio function. The first parameter is the sound frequency. The second is the sound format. The third is the amount of sound channels, with two for stereo and one for mono. And fourth is the sample size. When the program is done, we have to add mix close audio function. And finally, we're going to have to include the sdlmixer.dll in our program directory as well. If you're using an AUG file, you'll have to use these DLLs to run them. Alright, we have mixed chunk and mixed music available to us, so what's the difference? They both have pretty similar arguments, but mixed music has a special channel exclusively for music. Mixed chunk should be used for sound effects. Creating each of these is pretty similar to creating surfaces and will look like this. Mix music song name, mix chunk sound effect name. For music files, use the mix load music function. And for sound files, use the mix load wave function. The mix load muse function will load wave, mod, MIDI, AUG, and MP3 files. The mix load wave function will actually load in wave, as well as AIFF, RIF, AUG, and BOC files. Both of them only have the file name as their parameter. To set the volume, you can use the function mix volume chunk with the sound name and the volume amount. Zero is the minimum, and 128, or mix max volume, is the maximum. To set the music volume, use mix volume music. The only parameter here is volume, since there is only one channel for mix music. To start playing music, use this function. Mix, play music, song name, negative one. The negative one means that it will continue looping until another function stops it. Otherwise, you can just put the amount of times the song should loop there, from zero to whatever. To stop a music file, use mix halt music, and to pause and resume a music file, use mix pause music and mix resume music. That way, it will resume where it was paused at, rather than starting from the very beginning, in case you go to a menu or something. To play a sound, we use mix play channel. The first parameter is which channel to play on, and if we pass it a negative one, it will just use whichever channel is available. The second parameter is which mix chunk to play, and the third part is how many times it should loop. If we use negative one here, it will loop infinitely until stopped. To stop a sound, use the function mix halt channel, with the parameter being which channel to stop. If you're using negative one in your play channel function to use whichever channel is available, and if you plan on infinitely repeating some sound files and have to stop it eventually, you should use mix play channel in this way. int sound channel equals mix play channel and your parameters. And then you pass sound channel to the halt channel. If you are only playing your sound effects once with no looping, you shouldn't have to worry about this. 
and you shouldn't have to worry about halting the channel either. To pause, use mix pause negative one. The parameter is which channel to pause, or you can pass negative one to pause all of the channels. To resume, use mix resume with the parameter being the same as mix pause. When you're done with the program, make sure to stop all of the sounds that are currently playing, and then use Mix Free Music for any music files, and Mix Free Chunk for any sound files. Alright, that's it for sound in SDL. Next is displaying text.